What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. Come back. I'm on my way right now to pick up something that, um, well, I got something been boiling in the back of my head ever since I did some, did the, the stove videos. So come back. You'll see what I got coming. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back home after running through some pretty bad thunderstorms. Let's roll in a couple of those pictures. They were pretty gnarly. I have the prize in hand, guys. We're going to put you up on a tripod. We're going to evaluate. We're going to see what we need to do to make this thing work. We're going to fire it up, but let me show you the price. I have a two mantle Coleman lantern. Um, we'll go over more about it here in a second. Let's get set up where you can see everything. And um, man, I got some old stories about one of these. Okay, so looking at the bottom of the thing, 1982, second month. So this was made in February of 82. The Coleman Company Incorporated, Wichita, Kansas. Sorry for all the clanging. But um, what a big um, story I have about one of these one time. We were camping in Mammoth Cave State, uh, Mammoth Cave National Park. Uh, we had been at the cave all day. It was a winter style camping trip. It was stupid cold, stupid, uh, it's just stupid. But we had a good time. We had a really good time um, on the trip. And actually, I think it actually snowed a little bit while we were there. Anyway, so mantle had broke and if you don't know about how the mantle is doing these things if a mantle messes up well it doesn't burn right you don't get good light so the mantle had broke while we were sitting there and this thing had been on for a good several minutes so it was i mean it was it'd been it'd been working it was hot i reached up and grabbed this thing and undid the screw sat it down like that Took the top off. Scoutmaster looked at me and said, you want to turn that thing off first? And I did. After that. This is an original globe. See right there. Um, looks to be in good shape. I'm going to have to look and see if I've got mantles in my camp box here in a minute. Um, man, this thing is clean. That's the only spots I could see paint-wise that were in pretty bad shape. Let's turn that. I believe the pump's good on this thing, guys. It's building pressure. I hear it. Is there anything? I can hear the pressure coming off of it too. I think this thing will be fine. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. You ever gone and picked up an old car that um, was pretty, been sitting for quite some time and uh, you messed with the gas tank and you smell varnish? Exactly. I just got a good whiff of. Uh, let's see. Just like on the, just like on the um, stove, that's how you you have to turn that up to light it. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's got something in it. We're gonna wash that out. Close valve. Turn cleaning lever down. So that's how you would light it. Okay. So we're gonna clean out what's in here and get rid of it and then um, 
we're gonna look for mantles and we'll go from there. Alright, so it's been a couple days since I uh, brought this thing home. I flushed, as you see it is burning. One of the both of the mantles are a well, no. The one mantle did mess up already. So I'll have to get a new mantle or put another mantle on it and start over with that one. That happens. But she's running. She works. I had to do nothing else to it. Um, just simply put new mantles on it um, and lit it up. I haven't done anything else to it. She's working just fine. Like I said, that mantle. I, I was just so thrilled that the plunger Plunger works. Everything works. Let me hold it up so you can see it a little better. That one mantle broke, but the other one's fine. I thought it was broke too, but eh, there may be a hole. Maybe not. But that's what affects the, how much light it's actually putting out is when it, those mantles. There's half a dozen things on the internet burn in, don't burn in, how to burn in, do what works best for you. Um, that's probably the second one I've had to do that on me with one of these lanterns. But it works. Paid $25 for it. I'm happy. Um, I did wash out the tank. I dumped out the old nastiness. I got a thing in here that we dump out fuel, a little bit of fuel in, out of the weeders and stuff when we put them up for the winter. Then I take it to somewhere and dispose of it properly. And um, it's working. And uh, I, I cleaned the tank out with a little brake clean, just sprayed it down in there and flushed it around. But thank goodness there was water or gas in it. So it kept moisture in there, keep it from rusting or anything like that. It looked really clean inside. But she's a winner. She's a track star. She works. Um, remember these things get really hot. So don't go grabbing the glass and the lid like I did one time years ago. But there it is guys. I got a working two mantle. White gas. There we go. She's out. Yep, that one broke. That one's just fine. You can see where that one broke right there. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cool off and um, we will put it away and gonna go camping here soon. And we're gonna use this stove, or this lantern, the stove, and may even break out the old Coleman tent make it a Coleman camp out. So I got a couple other things I'm gonna bring to you over the next couple weeks. And I got a big project we're gonna start here at the house that I'm gonna bring to you on Saturdays. When I say a big project, it's a pretty big project. Um, we're fixing to dump some money in this place to help get it ready for the sale. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere for a couple of years. Um, two or three years anyway. We got major projects we want to do here, get ready for this place ready to sell. We've been here 17 years. So this things that the house needs. So I'm gonna bring those to you on Saturday so you can see what we're going through and what we're doing. And um, maybe in a couple of weeks, you'll see the first video on that. And I'll explain to you what's going on back here. All right guys, that's it for this one. Appreciate you watching. Going deep in next weekend. Be prepared.